Hello everyone, Squared Circle Wrestling is back with another episode which includes WWE interested in CM Punk. Impact Wrestling wants to sign CM Punk. Former WWE star comments on Maurice's private body parts. WWE legend China almost planned to kill Stephanie McMahon. Major update on Carlito's status with WWE. Update on WWE star Dakota Kai's injury. And much more. You can check the complete list with time chapters in the description box below. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all the latest news. Our top story for today looks at WWE interested in CM Punk. With CM Punk's time in AEW having reached an acrimonious end, many are wondering what is next for the former two-time AEW world champion. Fans have speculated that the second city saint could be on his way back to the WWE. Recently PW Insider have revealed that there are internal discussion in WWE about bringing CM Punk back to the company. With WWE finalizing its merger with Endeavor, it is believed that Endeavor themselves would make the call to bring back CM Punk. It was reported, Punk became a topic of discussion within WWE as soon as he was fired, and the response has been pretty divided. While some in WWE look at it as a chance for the promotion to make a lot of money, with one top talent even going as far to endorse the idea, many more were said to be against it and didn't believe it would happen. However it turns out, Punk joining WWE would be a discussion save for later, as the promotion is currently focused on finalizing its merger with Endeavor, set to be completed this month. It is also believed that Endeavor themselves would make the call to sign him. Punk had previously worked for Endeavor when he competed in UFC, and is said to have had a good relationship with top Endeavor brass. Next up, Impact Wrestling wants to sign CM Punk. With CM Punk being released from his AEW contract, it appears that there is some interest in Punk popping up elsewhere. According to a new report, Impact Wrestling is very much interested in signing CM Punk following his AEW exit. In a recent report from PW Insider, Impact Wrestling is super excited about potentially working with CM Punk. It was noted, Impact Wrestling is said to be super excited about the possibility of working with Punk. However, the report also notes that the notion isn't necessarily realistic from a long-term perspective. There is no information on whether those within Impact have had any conversations with Punk, or whether the star is interested in discussing opportunities with other promotions at this time. Though no concrete information has been provided and Tony Khan has refused to comment on this specifically, PW Insider notes that CM Punk does not appear to have a non-compete clause. Next up, will CM Punk sign with New Japan? Multiple wrestling companies throughout the world seems interested to work with CM Punk following his AEW exit. As for the new report, it appears that New Japan Pro Wrestling isn't keen on signing the second city saint to a deal. PW Insider Elite has reported that New Japan won't sign CM Punk due to their working relations with AEW. It was reported. As for NJPW, it is believed the promotion wouldn't pursue Punk due to their relationship with AEW. It is further believed that Punk was released without a non-compete clause, which would allow him to sign anywhere at any time. Next up, former WWE star comments on Maurice's private body parts. Former WWE Divas champion Maurice is unarguably one of the most beautiful women in WWE. Maurice along with her husband Miz are the stars of the reality show titled Miz and Mrs. Maurice regularly make appearance on WWE TV alongside her husband Miz. The French-Canadian wrestler has thus become quite a TV star in the USA. It appears that former WWE superstar star Ryback is one of those named who was impressed by the French beauty's looks. The former Intercontinental Champion posted the following tweet about Maurice body parts, but later deleted it. Ryback tweeted, those titties should be the tag team champions of the world. The tweet was deleted later. Next up, WWE legend China almost planned to kill Stephanie McMahon. The WWE legend Terry Runnels appeared as a guest on Monty and the Pharaoh, opened up about how Vince McMahon fired China to stop her from beating up Stephanie McMahon. After she had found out that Stephanie had started a relationship with Triple H, she revealed, We were in a locker room together, just she and I. I said, What the F? She goes, Yeah, he's been effing Stephanie, and I told Vince I was gonna effing kill her. She goes, That's why I don't have a job anymore. She believed with every ounce of her being that she was gonna be his wife and she was gonna be the top dog in our business. And then in one fell swoop she found out that he was effing Stephanie, and her world went from 100%, everything's going to be great going forward, too. Holy effing shit, what do I do? Next up, Becky Lynch challenges NXT Women's Champion Tiffany Stratton. After defeating Kiana James to kick off Tuesday's NXT show, Stratton was surprised when Lynch appeared on the entrance stage screen. Lynch said she decided to make an appearance on NXT after Stratton made her presence known on an episode of Raw. Stratton was also seen ringside for Lynch's cage match against Trish Stratus. Lynch said while she's won most accolades in WWE, she indeed never won the NXT Women's title. She said she thinks it's time for the man to come around to NXT and challenge Stratton to the match. The match was later made official on the NXT social media accounts. Later in the episode of NXT, Stratton responded to Lynch's challenge and said while it would be the biggest match of her career, she's only been in the business for two years so far and has already accomplished so much. 
Next up, major update on Carlito's status with WWE. Carlito made his WWE return at Backlash in Puerto Rico earlier this year, helping rap star Bad Bunny in his match against Damian Priest. Reports from the summer had suggested that former Intercontinental Champion Carlito had re-signed with WWE, but he is yet to make another appearance for the company so far. Dave Meltzer, speaking on Wrestling Observer Radio, noted that Carlito is believed to be signed to WWE after pulling out of independent bookings, but adds the company has yet to figure out how to use him. He said, yeah, he signed at the start of July. He pulled off all his indies, so he must have signed, and they were ready to start. He had a start date. He went. He was there. They couldn't figure out what to do with him. And they still haven't figured out what to do with him. Next up, major update on WWE star Dakota Kai's injury. Dakota Kai suffered a torn ACL on the May 17th edition of SmackDown, when she and Bayley were in action against the then WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Liv Morgan and Rodriguez. The former Women's Tag Team Champion Dakota Kai shared an injury update on Monday via her Charlagirl Twitch channel when she was asked about her in-ring return dates. She replied, probably, 2024, actually, I do think it's funny that a lot of people are like, she's not injured at all, look at her walking around. ACL injury, it's, I haven't even learned how to jump and run again yet. I think I'm going to start running this week. ACL recovery, especially for someone that is in sport or something like that, where you use your legs a lot. If I was a desk worker or something like that, I would be back to work properly, like fully now, but because it's wrestling I won't be clear until January. Next up, update on Jade Cargill's AEW status. AEW president and general manager Tony Khan gave an update on Jade Cargill's absence following Sunday's All Out PPV. The record-setting former TBS champion Jade Cargill hasn't been seen on TV since she lost the TBS championship to Chris Statlander at AEW Double or Nothing in May. After her loss, she took some time off from wrestling. In the press conference, Khan was asked about Cargill's status and whether she will be back soon. He replied, Yeah, very excited. I talked to Jade recently. I think hopefully get Jade back and soon. Obviously it was Chris Statlander who put Jade on the shelf. And Jade's one of the most successful stars ever in AEW. So we'll have stay tuned to see when and where Jade might pop again in the world. Next up, Mark Henry believes AEW will suffer a financial hit following CM Punk's firing. WWE Hall of Famer Mark Henry, during a recent appearance on Busted Open Radio, warned AEW of the financial hit CM Punk's departure is going to cause to the company. He said, As far as Punk is concerned, it's not the offense affected, it's the money, the gates, the live events, the brass tacks dealing with licensing products and merchandise money coming in. Money is going to be affected. Still, everything is solved now. The problem is gone, and there should be peace and prosperity in life. Next up, Potential bad news for Jungle Boy Jack Perry Former AEW World Champion CM Punk was fired from the company following a backstage incident with Jack Perry at All In at Wembley in London. With Punk's firing, questions turn to what the future looks like for Jack Perry in AEW, who is currently serving an indefinite suspension. WWE Hall of Famer Booker T, on the latest Hall of Fame podcast, gave his thoughts on the potential future of Jack Perry with AEW. He said, this could be a death blow to Jack Perry's career, that out of sight, out of mind, and then when he comes back, how much have they really missed him? His worth is gonna be immediately put right out there on front street. And that is all for today's news. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel Squared Circle Wrestling for all the latest updates.